Hey guys, this video will be a brief, very brief introduction to sleep stages, uh, particularly what you need to know for board examinations and uh, testing. Um, the key thing to know about sleep stages, as you as you might already know, is that the stages come in a cyclical manner, meaning that meaning that uh, you don't just necessarily start in the you know, lightest of sleep and then progress to the deepest of sleep and then wake back up. It uh, rather throughout the night you will come and go through all stages of the sleep spending the most amount of time in the second stage. Um, that being said, here are the primary stages of sleep, uh, as well as what you need to know about each particular stage. You don't need to know more than this, um, except for maybe some neurotransmitters, which will be covered in a different video. The lightest sleep, stage one, uh, involves theta waves. The second stage, which is, in my opinion, the most heavily tested stage, because of these buzzwords here, Rather than theta waves, uh, the, the EEG waves develop into sleep spindles and K-complexes. Now those are going to be some buzzwords you want to know. Um, the other thing associated with stage 2 is bruxism, which is the grinding of teeth while you sleep. Um, stage 3 involves delta waves. This is the deepest stage of sleep. It's also the stage of sleep uh, that involves night terrors and nocturnal enuresis or uh, bedwetting at night. Um, and then the uh, probably the most popular stage of sleep is the REM stage of sleep, rapid eye movement, which involves beta waves, and this is when we dream. Um, and again, you're going to um, definitely roll through all these stages multiple times during a full night's sleep. That's a brief introduction to the sleep stages.